Shield Knight. <laughs> Tally ho, fellow knights of chivalry! It is I, the brave and chivalrous Shield Knight. Oh, sorry. Um, sorry. Just woke up from a rather uh, hazy sleep. Oh, let me try that again. Tally ho, fellow knights of chivalry! It is I, the brave and chivalrous Shovel Knight! Welcoming you back to Shovel Knight Plays Shovel Knight! In the last episode, we managed to take down the Dark Spectre Knight and get through the Lich Yard! And in today's episode, we are going to Bridemore Keep to take down King Knight! Now before we get started, I must be honest, and I must say a few things. The first being... Thank you guys very much for enjoying that first episode. I was rather nervous to see where things went. I might have been a bit overzealous, but thank you for enjoying what I did last episode. It really meant a lot. Also, second thing to note, we accidentally didn't save the file when we played. So, naturally, the counters are a bit different, and there's an item in our inventory. Apparently, it is called the Phase Locket. Let's see what that does. Whoa! My body's become incorporeal! What an odd discovery this will be! Perhaps it'll be useful on our adventures. Onward! Now then, with the Lich Yard clear, we have unlocked another part of the world. But what's this? It seems we have activity on the map. Let's go see what monsters await us! It seems to be an army of slimes! Fear not, dear viewers! With our shovel, we will smite them! And there's the mini dragon, ready to charge us with all of its might! Avast! Taste my shovel, fearsome dragon! Oh! One must be careful when taking damage. If one is to fall, you will lose all of your gold, as well as your own life. But fear not, we are brave and powerful knights! Taste my blade, skeletons! They were no match for my prowess! Yes! This is what being a knight truly means, to be ready for all situations. Which brings me to today. Off to Pridemore Keep, the lair of the dreaded King Knight. Quite an interesting fellow, that King Knight. Believes himself to be quite the overlord, when in reality he's more of a pauper than anything else. But regardless, let us make our way through his rather large castle. Who would have thought that a castle this large would belong to such a pompous fool? Regardless, one must- Whoa! Be careful of the jousting knights! As well as pots of lava falling from the ceiling! One must wonder where the king could acquire such traps! Perhaps being in the Order of No Quarter gives him quite the ransom! Either way, be cautious when moving. Taking a hit from that will certainly melt thy armor, as well as thy weaponry! Now then, big on, Monk! Up the ladder we go, to face what other treacherous things await us. Are those rats on propellers? Why would someone employ rats to do their dirty work? I guess you could say the king is quite a rat himself to employ innocent animals in such ways. Hmm, no secrets here. Onward and upward. Seems we have quite a the myriad of enemies to deal with here. From rats to bugs to even wizards! that can shoot magic spells. But fear not, my viewers. With our shovel, we can reflect. Allow me to try that again, considering I messed up. We can reflect the bolts right back at the wizard. That way, his magic means nothing to us. Ha <laughs> ha. Be sure to collect every amount of gold that you can. Who knows when we're going to need it, especially if there's another town nearby. One must be ready for anything. Ah, yes, I forgot to mention. These are checkpoints. However, you can break them and retrieve some extra money if you so fit. But be warned! If you do break these checkpoints, you will not be able to use them again. So it is a risk and reward system. Personally, I prefer not to use them because, well, I don't need the extra gold at this point. Doing that would only hinder my abilities. And who wants to be lost? Ah, a fellow knight. Let's see what- Oh! One who actually presents a challenge! Be careful of how he strikes! Wait for the right moment, and strike back! That is the best way to defeat knights of this caliber! Ha ha! And onwards we go! 
more charging horse knights. Their lances are deadly, but we are deadlier! I must say, this castle is quite impressive. For him to attain such a castle must mean he is in good business. Although he could work on getting better chandeliers, apparently, because those seem to be falling. Be careful so they do not fall on you. And of course, avoid the spike pits. Be gone, punk! Now then, down we go into the depths. Wait a second. That imprint looks like me. I'm going to make my way over there just to see what is behind this particular thing. Let's see. A perfect fit. Whoa! We've been transported! A blue treasure chest. What is this? What sort of treasure awaits in here? Let's see. Whoa! In the village or out in the field, I have all the deals. You're not gonna believe what I just found in this chest. Want to see? You dare to take my treasure? Hmm. Uh, let us see what you have in store. A flare wand. Conjure fiery blasts, you say? A thousand gold? That's quite the bargain! Consider it sold! Hmm. It's a wand that shoots fireballs! Watch your magic meter! Ah, that would explain the small jar with the number 30 next to it! So we can shoot magic, can we? Flare wand! Oh, oh now we have the magic that the wizards use! Now we are much stronger! This will come in handy, as will the phase locket, I'm sure. Hmm, this does raise a curious question. With the phase locket, would I be able to avoid certain doom and death from spike pits? This is something we will have to experiment with later on. But for now, we must avoid the wizards. How about you? Ha <laughs> ha, they were no match for our mighty shovel. Now, onward we go to see if we can find any more secrets. <laughs> Off with your head, you shallow knight! Unfortunately, it seems I have broken off too much dirt and cannot reach the ladder. Either way, we will make our way forwards. Nothing will hinder our progress! Charge at me if you dare! And be defeated regardless! <laughs> hmm. I wonder if we're getting closer. It's a griffin! Shoots fire magic! Be cautious! What? Who knows what sort of. Ah! We have been scratched by its mighty talons! Aim for its head and you should be okay! It seems the fireballs do an, do an arc of sorts. So, regardless of where you stand, as long as you're underneath the arch, you should be okay. Aha! Taste our fire wand! You have been slain! And ironically, turned into chicken! Ironic, because that is the very beast that you claim to be! Ha 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 ha! Forgive me, rats! You do not deserve this sort of harsh treatment! Hmm... Can I reach that ledge by bouncing off of that rat? Forgive me for this! Ah! Just slightly off! Let's try that again! Ha ha! There we go! What secrets await us here? A maze of sorts, with wizards at the ready! No matter! They will not live long! Oh! Ah! Seems I have underestimated them! Their magic knows no bounds! Seems I am losing life rather quickly! Perhaps my own arrogance is my undoing in this instance! Regardless, I will persevere! We will succeed, dear viewers! Hmm... Seems I cannot pass through here! Is it possible that I have to go through the middle edge? Let us see! Ah! That is what we must do! All of this hard work, for gold and riches are plenty. We have quite the amount of gold in our pockets. I wonder what sort of things we can afford. Perhaps new armor. That way we have different status effects. That would be rather convenient. Oh, it seems that there is a hole behind that banner. Hmm. One must be careful. Don't want to slip and fall into a bed of spikes. Unfortunate that that bug got to be abused in such a way, as are these rats. Seriously, why rats? That seems so wrong. Rats do not cause that much harm. I mean, unless they're being used in this way. Regardless. Alright, jump onto the ledge! How unfortunate that their last moments 
or running into a wall and meeting their demise. You again! How many of these knights does the king have under his embroil? I wonder what their salaries are like if they are willing to die for him. Even though, in all honesty, if people knew the truth, he was secretly a poor person before becoming a king. What do we have here? Another secret. Ah, and another sh sheet music for the bard. I'll be sure to get this for him. Who knows what sort of music he'll play for us with this? Ride these platforms back, and we will make our way further into the castle. Where we have books, apparently. They are magic books. These spells will allow us to traverse farther. It seems we must be cautious of the lava above. As long as we hit the book, we should be okay. Ah! Unless, of course, we hit the lava. This spell only lasts a short while, so we must move quickly as not to meet our demise. All right, carefully now. Oh! No! It seems I was not fast enough. But worry not, we are close to the end of Pridemore Keep. One must be cautious how we move through these obstacles. There are perils of plenty in this world of ours, so one must always be ready to succeed and fail, because both are possible. But failure is not something that should be seen as a negative. See it as a positive, a learning experience. Unfortunately, I cannot retrieve that gold. It's too far out of reach, and if I did try, it would mean the end of me. I do not want to meet my end so soon. Besides, we still have a king to fight, or a would-be king in all honesty. He is no king in my eyes, merely a fool, another griffin to which we must battle. Shoot your fireballs, I'm ready! <laughs> Once you learn the arch movement, it is easy to counteract. And that swipe is so slow, it could not do us any harm, even though it did us harm earlier. Regardless, now it is time to fight the king. An interloper in our midst? Be gone from our throne room, knave! I am no more an intruder than you! You aren't even a real king! Oh, but you're mistaken. The Enchantress saw me for my fabulously regal self, and now all bow before me. You're not but a decadent dandy. Prepare to taste justice. Shovel justice. Silence! He may look like a slouch, but this king is rather powerful. This fire wand will come in handy to defeat this popper. All right. He bounces around because that is his way. Oh! His charge move is rather quick, so his speed can be both a blessing and a curse. Ready from the sky? It seems like it could be deadly. I must avoid it. Oh! It actually does damage, but regardless, him standing still makes him an open target! Which means his fall is nigh! Your pompous ways will not stop you when faced with civil justice! Ha 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 ha! And with that, two knights of the Order of No Quarter have been bested in battle. Oh, it's now time to rest. Oh, long day requires rest. If only I wasn't plagued by nightmares. Of Shield Knight. If only I had been quicker, if only I had been stronger, I will save you. No enemy will stop me from saving that which I love. They can try as they might, send legions if you must, but nothing will stop me. Nothing will hinder me. I will save you. Shield Knight. I will rescue you. Such dreams haunt me every night, knowing that I was not fast enough to save her from the fate that befell her. Regardless, our quest continues. What is this? Ah, a meal ticket. The gastronomer will give us a nice upgrade for this. I guess we'll have to head back to town before we venture further. And the world now expands further for us. 
Now we have three more knights of the order to face. Those being the Dastardly Plague Knight, the Iron Whale known as Treasure Knight, and the Lost City's Mole Knight. But before we do this, let us head back to town. We have a few things to take care of. Primarily, giving the bard our sheet music. Whoa! You have two music sheets! Magnificent! Take 500 gold for each? Yes! Wonderful! Let's see here. Oh! You found the decadent dandy! You wouldn't believe how many revisions King Knight demanded. He's what we call a nightmare client! Though I am not one for puns, I admit that was rather clever! Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you anytime! Just ask! Thank you, Sabard! Now, to the gastronomer! A meal ticket, hand it to me. I'll get to work on my best recipe! Yes, sir! I'll dazzle your palate in no time or less, so bon appetit and pardon the mess! Ah! Magnificent! Truly delicious! And now we have six points for health! Let's see. Go Titian! Ah, decisions, decisions. Should I extend my magic or health? Or just eat a tin can? Why not buy a meal ticket and help narrow my options? A meal ticket worthy of purchase! Hmm. Can I extend my magic, perhaps? Want more use out of your relics? Oh, yes, of course. Ah, uh, I can increase your maximum magic. Good. Hmm. A magic drink? What be the harm? Let's try it! Hmm. Now we can hold up to 40. Astronomer, I'll take one more meal. One must be prepared for the dangers afoot. So, the more health and magic we have, the better. Right. Hmm. I wonder what's down here. Oh my. Quite the menagerie, apparently. Hmm. What is this? Aha! A secret! And who are you? I suppose peaceful solitude is too much to ask for. Well, as long as I'm stranded here, shall we pass the time with a little game? I'll just need a hundred gold first. A game? I might as well take a small diversion. Alright, I'll conjure up some things, and you can hit them toward the targets for points, okay? Oh, potions! So we have to hit them? Very well. Hit them we shall. The more points we gain, the better, I presume. I'm going to try and hit the red ones as much as possible. Oh! We have a rather- Oh! The ones that flash seem to split! Those will get us maximum points! Ha ha! This is rather fun, I must admit! Ha ha! Seems I was not prepared for that particular shot. Hmm, they seem to be falling faster now! Don't think I can keep up with all these! Oh shoot! Ha! Ah! Not fast enough for this game! Dear me! This is quite stressful! Oh dear! Let's see. Well, I've got over a hundred points, so that must be worth something, correct? <laughs> At least they can't damage me, so that's a positive I am willing to work with. 176! Got 176 points. Ah. Uh, well, color me impressed. Ah! Quite a bountiful reward, and more sheet music. I'll take this to the bard later. We have levels to defeat, and knights to vanquish! So until next time, let us move forward from this village. I'm not sure who to face first, though. Wait, I know who I'll be defeating first! That dastardly nuisance plague knight! Ooh, I will take him down first and foremost! Stop in thy shovel, ladies and gentlemen! It's time to enter the mad laboratory! And what a laboratory it is, filled with traps and spells of plenty! This mad doctor has a thing for madness! Hence the name, Plague Knight. If you recall in history, plague doctors were usually sent to check on villages to make sure that people weren't infected with the plague. However, there were some who did not believe in such a practice. Plague Knight is an insult to this practice! Just look at what he's done to these rats! Making them explosive, turning crows into shadow beasts, dropping his explosive concoctions on us! Well, no matter! We will defeat him as we defeated the king! 
nothing will stand in our way of shovel justice! Explosive rats, how could he? Such disgusting malpractice. Some plague doctor he turned out to be. His mad experiments are something that must be stopped. And I will be the one to put an end to his reign of dastardly terror. How the Enchantress came upon such a low life is beyond ugh, me. One must be cautious of his traps. However, this does present a bit of experimentation on my part. Phase Locket! Aha! We can survive the spike pits with this. This is good information to have. Hmm. You know, I just realized something. I sound similar to a certain person that works here at this... Studio, I want to call it? I'm not used to all this modern day terminology, so you'll have to forgive me if I get my words slurred or get a little confused. But apparently I sound similar to a faceless man? I'm not sure who that is, but as long as he causes no trouble, we- Oh dear! It seems that the Plague Knight has sent his own personal lackeys to attack us. They are equipped with his own special brand of bombs, so one must be cautious when approaching them. Oh dear, seems we are in quite the predicament now. Explosive barrels with spikes. Bear in mind, any spike will instantly kill us, so we must be careful how we progress. The phase locket will actually come in handy for situations such as this. It seems I was mistaken. These particular spikes don't kill you, but the ones on top of that ceiling will. So be careful how you maneuver. Ha ha! Always good to get extra gems, I say. Aha! A secret! I have not seen this before. Another one of the- Oh, this one jumps, does he? Well, regardless, I will not be bested by a mere pawn! Ha ha ha! Come here, you coward! Take this! Taste the might of my shovel! Hmm. Stone blocks. They require quite a few hits to break. Oh! Seems Chester's chest is here. Chester's chest, that's quite a thing. Let us see what deal you have. An alchemy coin. Hmm. Why not? We have the gold to burn. Toss a coin for a chance at riches. If you're lucky, you can wing big. All right. Alchemy coin. Oh, well, that's rather useful. It turns enemies into coins. That can be a useful thing. Well, if our luck is on our side. Regardless, onwards into this mad laboratory! Seems the Plague Knight has prepared for my arrival. Don't blame him, considering my strength and his rather interesting use of experimentation. <laughs> ah. Oof. Oh. <clears throat> I was going to say close call for comfort, but it seems that we have to be cautious where we use our shovel. All these platforms could break if we're not careful. As well, these fire jet streams are rather precarious. Sheet music. Fortunately, I cannot reach it unless I bait this little lackey of his to getting closer. Get closer, why don't you? Are you afraid? Fear not. I will not cause you too much harm. Just move a little to the left. And... Oh, no. Come on. Darn. Slightly out of reach! Ah, what a shame. It seems I will not be able to collect that particular sheet music. Onwards, though! Oh, what's this? It seems one of his lackeys is not happy with these experiments. Oh, oh dear. A mighty ogre beast! It's a shame that this pogo bounce works so well. He stands not a chance! Aha! Oof! And again, we might not if we keep acting foolishly. Regardless, I will not be bested so easily, I was going to say. Mistakes were made, ladies and gentlemen. But fear not. We have unlimited lives. The only thing we can lose at this point is our gold. And even though it is a shame to lose our monetary value, it matters not in the grand scheme of things. Well, of course, they're trying to gather up equipment, in which case it is quite a detriment. But regardless, I will not be bested! Taste the fire wand! It's a good thing we have these trinkets. Or are they special weapons? 
What would you prefer me refer to these things as? Special weapons or trinkets? Let me know in the comments section below! Regardless, we have three. So does this mean for every level there is a special weapon or trinket that we can use? Ooh, that is rather convenient. All right, so these particular fire jet streams work on a timer system. If you time it right, you can move past them without any trouble. Ah, another one of these bastards. Come now, I will not be bested by a coward like you. You can't even hurt me with this phase locket. This particular special weapon or trinket is rather useful for multiple situations. I'll be sure to make use of this often. Only in dire situations, of course. Wouldn't want to overuse it and be seen as weak, for I am a strong knight. Ugh. I keep taking unnecessary damage, though. I'm not going to be that strong. Regardless, moving forward. These things look like demonic rabbits. Don't tell me he's experimented with rabbits, too. Such an evil plague knight. Of all the knights of the Order of No Quarter, he's the one I like the least. Most of them... An imposter, Shovel Knight! Be gone, you dastardly fiend! What sort of disgusting trickery is this? Trying to impersonate my good name! Trying to frame me! I will not stand for such mockery! They say imitation is the most sincere form of flattery, but in all honesty, I find it to be a mockery! Imitation is not something I agree with, especially when it's done haphazardly like this! Regardless, it seems that if I can trick them into falling- Oh! That particular bug- Ooh. You fool! You have fallen right into a trap! Oh! Use this! Must get through with- Ah! Once again, mistakes were made. It seems I was not fast enough or careful enough for that situation. Though, can you blame me when you're being distracted by these- these hooligans? Hooligans trying to impersonate my name made up of pure magic and ether. This is why the Plague Knight must go first. His mockery must not be allowed to spread across the land. Either way, we'll move forward. And I think in this instance, we will be able to recollect our gold. Because it's not too far off the beaten path. Just gotta make sure not to... Okay. Oh, get closer, you imposter. Alright, one, two. Gotta get the third bag. That way we can keep our money intact. Yes! And we have a little extra. Just because we're that skilled. Ah, it is time to face the Plague Knight. Down the chasm we go. Show yourself! <laughs> Leave me alone! Show yourself, Plague Knight! Your trickery will not stop me! Trickery? <laughs> the fruits of my research are no mere trick! Boom! <laughs> now let's have a lesson, shall we? I promise! <laughs> it will be enlightening! <laughs> STAY STILL, YOU LITTLE MONSTER! One must be cautious of the explosives he carries on his pouch. They can leave small fireballs that can travel across the walls. And the floors itself. So one must be cautious of where he moves. Bouncing seems to be his gimmick. So if you stay bouncing like him, you'll be able to dodge easily. Those beakers are deadly. If an explosion hits them, they'll cause a MASSIVE EXPLOSION! So be cautious to not let any of his bombs hit them. Phase locked! That should not take extra damage, of course. Let's try the alchemy coin! That barrage of bombs was not enough to stop me! You foolish, foolish man! Then again, you are no mere man. You are a coward, using experiments like these for your dirty tricks! Regardless, you will face justice! Though I took many hits, it was worth it to dispense justice upon that treacherous plague knight. And with that, three knights have been bested in combat. And now we rest. After a long day of shovel justice, one must recuperate its energy to be prepared for the days ahead. Now then, with that said, onward! Ah, can't leave behind extra gold. Always check your fireplaces. You can never know what you'll find. 
Oh, who is that? I've not seen such a person before. Before we end this episode, let's check who this is. North from Pridemore, west at the fork. Oh, bother. I must have passed it already. Well met, Traveler. Oi! Maybe you can help me. I think I got lost. I was trying to... Wait a second. You're the knight with a shovel! Indeed. I am the... The knight with a shovel who has been... Menacing the village! I... I assure you, I have done no such... You're gonna use that shovel to bury innocent people?! Your reign of terror ends here! You seem to be mistaken. I'm not the knight you are looking for. Oh! He's got deadly boomerangs. One must be careful where they bounce. Oh! This child is rather skilled. It's unfortunate that we must fight. But if you pose to challenge me, I will show no mercy, child. It is a shame. You seem like such a nice child, too. Now then, prepare thyself for defeat. Ugh. Jump kicks as well. He's quite skilled in combat. Both weapon-based and martial-based. Godless, I am a... Whoa! He even has magic? Impressive! You would make quite the ally. I'll have to use the phase lock for this fight. I won't last much longer. Dear, this is not good. Take another hit, it's over. Ah! Bested by this child. I'll have to fight him once more. I will retrieve what has been taken from me! A very impressive combatant you are! Regardless, I will not lose a second time! Prepare thyself for defeat, young child! Though I must prepare myself a little bit better by evasive maneuvers. I can't keep risking my body like this. If I do, I'm just going to keep taking unnecessary damage! Flare one! Right, it seems the barrier can be blasted. Flare one! Aha! As long as I can hit the barrier itself and not hit it with my... Mm. Careful, Shovel Knight. Do not make any foolish mistakes. This time, the battle is yours. Ha ha! Well fought. Ah, close. Do your worst, villain! Strike me down! I'm no villain! We're fighting a common enemy! We... we are? Well, why didn't you say so? Wow, I feel like a fool now. Think nothing of it, friend. Knights are strongest when they work together! Yeah! Knight's code! First vow! Always help a person in need! Knock him down, Shovel Knight! What a very interesting traveler! He even left us sheet music! I'll be sure to thank him if I see him again. Well, that has been quite the adventure for one episode, I would say. With that said, thank you very much for watching this episode of Shovel Knight Plays Shovel Knight. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment in the boxes below, informing me of where you would like to see me travel next. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell, so you know when I and the other voices here at Kaiser and the Voices are adventuring once again. Also, be sure to share this video around. The world must know that the Shovel Knight is going to save the land. And with that said, this has been Shovel Knight. Glory unto thee. See you next time.